the HTC One. First thing that I want to tell you about this device is it's 12 years of innovation in one product. Over 150,000 man hours have gone into designing this product, so it's very, very slim. Four millimeters slim on the side, round to a thickness of about nine millimeters in the center. Okay, it's crafted out of metal. It's the first full body uh, metal device that we've built. Okay, incorporating all your signal antennas, so you've got your network signal, you've got your NFC, and everything blended into there as well. Okay. Now. It's accented on the front by two dual frontal stereo speakers, which we'll talk about in boom sound in a second. But well, first thing that I want to talk through is this 1080 resolution screen. It's pin sharp, really gorgeous. To complement that, we've got a new feature called HTC Blink Feed. Now, what Blink Feed does is it helps to bubble up the features that you actually want to see every day. So if you're the sort of person that when they wake up in the morning, they touch the phone, you go into your Facebook, you go into your Twitter, you go into your, uh, your, um, your favorite websites. What this actually does is it bubbles everything to the surface for you. Really nice crisp resolution picture. You've also got obviously the, the little blurb at the bottom that tells you where it's from. Now if I go back to the top, if I just pull this down just a little bit, you can probably see now you've got a little bar just at the top. I've got highlights just there. Now if I tap on that, you can choose highlights, which is like a mashup of all your favorite websites, okay, into this Blink feed. You can also separate it, so if you just want to see, for example, here we have the Independent or Reuters. Obviously, HTC have now got the agreement with Mobos and UEFA. Um, you can actually customize that. We've got over a thousand different partners, you know, in different websites and uh, social networking. You've got your plus symbol there, which allows you to post straight away. So if you want to really just get straight onto Facebook, get onto Twitter, you can post things. Obviously, your search facility and the three little dots take you into your topics and services. The great thing about Blinkfeed, though, is that Blinkfeed's created by HTC, but it blends into different areas. So say, for example, if you put something into your calendar, your calendar will actually pop up on there with the next available thing that you're doing. Just on the top of the device, you have the power button. The power button is actually an infrared um, remote. So basically, we've got a thing called Sense TV, which allows you to control your CV and your set-top box. Within that, if you actually set programs as your favourites, you'll actually find they appear also in your Blink feed to let you know that TV's on later on today. As you can probably see just there, actually, we've liked food and drink. So it now tells us that food and drink and, uh, and those TV programs will be on later. So one of the features that we have is um, Boom Sound. Now, Boom Sound, you've got your dual frontal stereo speakers, okay? They approximately let out about four times the power of most other smartphones, so um, it's really, really crisp. Looking after that, we also have a, an amplifier, which looks after the sound balance, the quality, to make sure that the sound is really punchy, but at the same time, it's not losing the vocal qualities, you know, the bass levels, that sort of thing. Now, we've got a song just playing on here at the moment. The little music symbol that we just have there, if I tap on that with the bubbles, what it'll do is it'll bring up a visualization of the music that you're listening to. What, in addition to that, what it'll also do is from Grace Notes, it'll actually pull down the lyrics for the song. So if you want to out and put this to a TV, you can actually have it like a karaoke system if you want to. Okay? That's boom sound. I'm just going to stop that for a second. The very last feature is going to be around the camera. So the camera is an ultra pixel camera, okay? So it's different to anything else that we've built. The ultra pixel camera has got a bigger sensor inside of it. So a bigger sensor allows more data. So we have up to 300% more light that allows it to get into the phone. More light means more data, which means better quality in terms of low level light, different situations that you've got. So we're concentrating ourselves, dedicating ourselves to picture quality. We also have the HTC image chip, which looks after image stabilization, um, looks after blurriness, grayness, um, and image processing. So what I'm gonna also show you is a couple of things to do with the picture quality that we've got inside of here. So uh, if I go into, if I just come back out of that, if I just go into camera. So here we have the camera, okay? We've got two buttons, so you've got your capture button and your video button just there. Over this side here, there's a new option that's appeared, which is basically our new feature, which is Zoe. So if I tap on this, you'll notice it's activated down at the bottom. When I tap to take a picture, you'll notice it then starts to go red, and then it stops. In that three seconds, it takes a three second video clip, but it actually takes about 15 images at the same time, so about 15 to 20 images. What that then means is you're able to then try and travel, you're able to go backwards and forwards in time. So if I go into my photographs, and I try to pull something up for you. Oh, just cross off that. So, for example, if I just go into sequence shot. So, 
This was actually shot on the device, so it's someone just doing a trick on a bike. So, great moment in time. Let's make it better. So we can actually go into Edit. I can go into Retouch. And if I select um, Sequence Shot, what it'll do is those images that I talked about before, it will then allow me to overlap them and add them in. So you've got a really, really cool makeup of that, you know, fantastic shot, that fantastic trick that you might yeah. have. Another very quick one to show you, just to do with the camera editing facilities. I'll just back out of this for a second. Is that you also have uh, object removal. So again, if you're in the situation where you're taking a picture and there's people walking around in the background, you want the perfect picture without those people in the background just there, again, you can just go into Edit, go into Retouch, and you'll have there Object Removal. When you tap on that, you'll actually notice the things that are moving in the background, and you'll see now, obviously it's noticed there were two people walking in the background, it's removed it out. If you want to replace those people, you can just simply just tap on it, and there we go, the gentleman's back in the picture. The very last thing that I'll just tell you, because there's loads of other features to do with HTC Zoe, is uh, that you've got the always smile. So if you're in a group situation, you're trying to take the photograph, or maybe you've got kids, the hardest thing ever is to try and catch them at that right moment. Again, you can actually tap on the screen, go to edit, go to retouch, and you have always smile just there. And what that will do is it'll actually detect the faces in the screen. You can have up to around about 30 faces. And you just select the person, so if I select this lady here, and then just go along, you can see her head tilting. So again, you can actually choose the right moment for the picture, get them all in there, and it's the perfect moment for you. Yeah. All this on the HTC One. Cool. Um, I noticed that you only have two touch buttons at the bottom of the screen. Correct. <clears throat> the menu button, how, how is it implemented uh, at uh, so most, most application, application level? Yeah, so most applications actually contain the menu button within them now anyway. What you oh. can also do as well is um, you can hold down the back button when you're in something and it actually presents you with the menu. Just like on the home button here, the home button obviously brings you back yes. to home. You can double tap it. Yes. I just go back out. I just go back out and didn't appear to be doing it on this one. Oh, there we go. It gives you your recent. Yes. So these two buttons here are all the buttons that you actually physically need. So you've got your back button, which also lets you into your menu. You've also got your home button, which also lets you into your recent apps. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, where where is the app drawer? Uh, the apps are all the apps are here. Correct. Yeah. What you've also got the ability to do is just at the top there, just like you had on Blink Feed. If I pull that down a little bit, you've also got a, a sort of hidden menu just there. You can customize it so you can put things where you want them to be. Mm -hmm. It rearranges in the background, so yeah. you can see that move around. Or I can drag things on top of each other and create a folder. And create a folder. Obviously, your dock is always visible at the bottom as well, so again, you're not lost the ability to make a phone call and everything from it. Um, you can go into custom, you can have it up there for the most recent, straight into your, uh, your store just there. You can also change the grid if you want to. Yeah. Cool. So, total customization over what you actually physically want to control. Okay. Uh, one more thing, the the main the main screen. Yeah. Uh, how how can you how can you customize customize it? So you still got the ability to customize. So if I just punch out of that in the moment, so you always have a screen to the right. So if I just go back out, you've got the screen to the right there. So your normal desktop. Okay. You'll notice at the top there you've got add panel. So again, you can add up to I think it's about eight panels yes. all at once. <laughs> You can also set what is your home, so you can probably see that that's actually got the little same symbol as the home button just there. Yes. Okay. So you can actually set this one as the home one as well if you want to. So again, you can choose which panel you want as your home screen. Okay, cool. So, HTC One at MWC 2013.